guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i seen this story yesterday and didn't have time to do it and this story is out of uh hillsborough county florida shout out and uh it's about a place called astro skate rink and it, uh as you can tell it's a skating rink evidently and uh, some craziness went down over the weekend down there, and it's what we talk about on this show, like a common sense and silly shit. But um, let me tell you what happened. Supposedly, a woman scheduled an event and got mad because the event, she didn't meet the requirements for said event. So what they did, the skating ring, of course, they canceled her event. And gave her her money back. The best they sh they can do. She didn't meet the requirements. Nobody fought but hers. Things have rules. What did she do? Didn't recalculate uh, the steps and try to rearrange another, you know, or try to meet the criteria or, or rearrange another uh, reschedule at another time. What she did was something that you see a lot of people do. Get a whole bunch of people involved and turn their problems, you know, into problems for other people that are gullible enough, gullible enough to fall for the BS. It says over 29 people are, were arrested and six adults when this woman got on social media because of her anger at this uh, skating ring where she amassed a bunch of people, mainly kids. Four to five hundred to go over there and tear the place up. Take a look at this. Good afternoon. Dozens of people were arrested over the weekend for what the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is calling a violent disturbance outside of a roller skating rink in Brandon. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm Stacy Scheibel along with Paula Soro. Thank you for joining us. They say it all started because an after party event was canceled at Astro Skate. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young joins us live from outside of Astro Skate with the details. Alessandra. Stacy, the sheriff's office says 29 people were arrested. Six of them are adults. No, no fights happen inside the skating rink, but they say the violence continued down the street and to other businesses. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office shared several chaotic and violent videos after they say an after party was canceled at Astro Skate. That patron went to social media and requested that people respond to the Astro Skate to riot and confront law enforcement. The person's money was refunded after they failed to meet the business's requirements for events. We looked at it on Friday night and we canceled her event, gave her a refund back. She was very irate, calling us names. And then the next day she got online and told the kids to show up at the skater rink anyway and act the fool, you know, so they acted the fool. And chaos erupted. Approximately 400 to 500 people in the parking lot and adjacent businesses fighting, stealing, and disrupting the businesses located next to the Astro Skate. The owner for Astro says he saw a huge line outside and there was already 550 kids inside skating and decided nobody else was coming in. They come walking in out of the darkness and we tell them to get a ride and go home. And they scream profanity and say, whatever. I don't know how much else we can do. We took all the measures. The sheriff's office says hundreds of people took to the streets and a group broke away and attacked a juvenile inside a barber shop. I'm utterly outraged by that type of behavior. It is anarchy. It is chaos. Deputies say they gave out multiple warnings, told people they were trespassing and needed to leave. And when they didn't, several arrests were made. The skating rink is operating on normal hours today, and the sheriff's office says that more arrests could be made. Live in Hillsborough County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side. See what happened and the uh, hell that ensued with that. Not only did these kids come over there, gathering on masks, trying to force their way in there, not wanting to leave. Police had to be called. 29 people were arrested. Six were adults. Not only did they start trying to tip the skating ring, but it went down the street. The uh, craziness went down the street to neighboring uh, businesses, tearing them up. See the barbershop? They went in and attacked the kid. 
I guess he was getting a haircut or sitting awake to get a haircut. They punched him where he almost came out the window. Somebody recorded it. Think about that. You go into a place of business. You're not getting your hair cut. You go in there and just fuck somebody else up. Who is? What's wrong with people, man? Yo, we are at a point where there are a lot of feral people out here and a lot of them are young folk. Easily manipulated in the mind. This woman had a problem with the store. I can understand that. But it's their store. Their rules. If you don't meet the criteria and they cancel your event, I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? She didn't take it well. And how many people out here now don't like being told no? This right here is typical ignorant folk behavior. You get on social media using it for the wrong thing. Because you're embarrassed because you didn't do the right thing and your event got canceled. So to avoid the embarrassment, you put it on the uh, owner of the skate people. It's their fault, not mine, because you didn't want to take the embarrassment because you ain't do what your requirements was. What do you do? Turn around, go to the monkey shit cookbook, and whip up an uh, extra dose of nigaroni and cheese. A recipe for disaster. Something that nobody want to taste of. And you've seen why. Bunch of kids got arrested. You know who didn't get arrested? The lady that started that shit. I bet none of her kids was out there. And she telling them kids, go over there and tear that place up. And them like dumbasses, they going and doing it. Don't y'all got parents? Listen. At the age of a lot of those teenage kids, right? In my head, I had where, okay, somebody telling me to go tear something up. I'm like, I ain't doing that. Because I know I got somebody at home that'll tear me up. Not for just doing that, but for being a follower and not a leader. See, a long time ago, we was taught if somebody going into hell, you know what I'm saying, with gasoline draws, you don't follow them. Or if you see somebody going down the wrong road, if you can't pull them back, you know what I'm saying, you re re uh, reverse your uh, direction and you walk off. This is sick behavior, man. And it's sad that people. Young kids are so manipulated, easily manipulated to do wrong when there's so much right they can be doing out here to fix themselves and go in a positive direction. You know how many of us that are older wish we was at the age a lot of y'all are right now? Because your opportunities are endless while ours at our older late age is limited. Jobs we can get, money we can make. That's why when you're young, you got to get down and get it and root yourself to where you have a steady income and, and build up your, your uh, skills to where you can accumulate wealth. You know, at a young age, because you can make mistakes at a young age, older people, we can't do that. Me, I'm fortunate. I was lucky to listen when people talk. But nowadays, you can't even say nothing to anybody without them wanting to fight you, take your life, cuss you out, so on and so forth. Four to five hundred people came over there and caused thousands of dollars in damages and ran off like it was nothing. Girls fighting girls, boys fighting boys, savage shit. And for what? They had nothing to do with it. But this woman got on social media and typed up for all this to happen. And she don't feel no guilt. In fact, that make her feel powerful. I got on that post. I'm people went over there and tore it up. It's not used for that. And you really look stupid. You do. This is messed up. She made her beef, everybody else's beef, and he was dumb enough to follow along with her. For real. Six adults was locked up, 29 people all in all. Girls out there fighting. Don't nobody want no tough chick. It's like nowadays, the way the world is, girls got to prove that they just as tough as boys and they can fight. That was never a prime uh, requisite of being a good woman, whether you could take a punch or not. What the fuck is going on here? A lot of them people didn't even know the lady. That's the part that's crazy. They just wanted to go out there and do some old hellbent shit. I'm telling you, America's getting tired of uh, ninjas. And y'all don't see what's coming. I'm telling you, when it come, it's going to come through here like a flood. Don't be surprised. They're going to start uh, calling certain things felonies. They're going to change a lot of laws under the nose. A lot of people that are ignorant don't watch the news and all this other stuff. And it's going to look like they only arresting a certain type of person. 
And people are gonna sit around, oh, they racist, they 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 doing this because we black, or they doing this because we no, they're doing it because you're ignorant. And you like doing that shit because there's nobody out there to catch you or, or charge you with it, and you'll get arrested right now and be released the next day. But watch, they're gonna drop the hammer on this thing, and a lot of people are gonna get their feelings hurt. Watch. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You heard me say it first. Watch in, in the next coming years. Watch what happened. They're going to have laws that look like only black folk getting locked up. Ignorant ones. Telling you. They're going to have ninja laws. You'll see. See you in the next video. Take care.